Hi, today's short video is going to explain the two types of naloxone kits that a client may receive. The first type of kit that we're going to discuss is the intranasal naloxone kit. Naloxone kits are not pre-assembled by programs or pharmacies. They are ordered as separate components that are even either assembled by the program themselves or by the pharmacy once the prescription is written. Some programs choose to keep their naloxone kits in simple containers like plastic bags. Some programs choose to include a small bag such as this that say something on the outside like overdose prevention rescue kit. This is optional and some programs do not choose to use bags or use other types of containers. This naloxone kit comes with an educational brochure that includes information on how to use the naloxone kit and it includes two doses of intranasal naloxone hydrochloride. And this box is going to contain a vial of naloxone hydrochloride, one milligram to one ml concentration, and a lure lock syringe with no needle. You'll also order separately an atomizer, a mucosal atomization device made by the company Teleflex that is going to screw onto the lure lock device. You'll also attach the mucosal atomization device to the box with a rubber band, preferably, so the client doesn't lose each piece. When the client is about to use the naloxone, they'll assemble it like this. Take the atomization device and screw it onto the lure lock syringe, like this. Then you're gonna take the yellow cap off the bottom and the purple cap off of the vial of naloxone, being careful as this is a glass vial. You're going to screw the naloxone into the lure lock syringe gently until it engages. You'll feel some resistance, and then you're ready to go. The naloxone vial is marked with the dosage from 0 to 2 mLs. When you're instructing the patient on how to use the naloxone during an overdose, you want to instruct them to administer half the dose up one nostril and the other half of the dose up the other nostril using the measurements on the vial. The first spray goes in the first nostril, and then the second spray goes to the second nostril until the naloxone is completely empty. It can then be disposed of in the trash since there's no needle. The second form of naloxone that you may prescribe is injectable naloxone. This comes in a small glass vial and is made by a company called Hospira. This concentration of naloxone is 0.4 milligrams per 1 ml and comes in a single dose vial. For an injectable naloxone kit, you want to also prescribe two intramuscular syringes. The recommended size of syringe is a 25 gauge 1 inch needle 3 ml barrel. And they're going to need two of those. And some programs choose to include a small sharps container that in contains both syringes and the vials of naloxone along with the educational material. This is optional and some programs choose to provide a simpler kit. The naloxone vial looks like this and as you instruct a patient on how to use it, you want to show them to flip the cap off, insert the needle in the top of the vial, turn it upside down and drop the entire dosage of naloxone into the syringe. That will be one ml and will come to about here on the syringe. The patient can then inject the naloxone intramuscularly into the upper arm, upper part of the thigh, or upper outer quadrant of the buttocks. Each naloxone kit is going to need to contain at least two doses of either the injectable naloxone or the intranasal naloxone with the atomizers. The need for two doses is dependent upon the person's response time when naloxone is administered. Some overdoses require that a second dose of naloxone is administered, so we always include at least two doses in a prescription or distribution kit. 